Out on the street, there was a dandy parade in progress. What is this noise? Is that the, the wind over reeds or something? <laughs> is there some way to stop that? Or is it, it's, it's just a good. What noise? Out on the street, there was a dandy parade in progress. Little boys were dressed up in bright blue soldier suits and carrying little guns and swords and such. Others were with trumpets and bugles, some with drums. It was quite a clatter. There were adults, too, in adult versions of the ridiculous child uniforms walking at the front. There was a banner, too, but the banner was already gone up ahead and Carr couldn't read what it said. The parade was going in the direction that Carr needed to go. Should I join the parade, he wondered. That's always the decision one is pressed to make. Do I join the parade or not? In certain cases, the decision is easy. In others, not so. Now there was a mule with a very small child on it, dressed up also like a mule, or rather like a monk in a hair suit. A hair suit, thought her. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Yes, these and other thoughts of guilt. After the mule came four dancers, bent up and twisted onto each other to look like an elephant. They were very successful in this. I imagine they were the best ones in the world at being in a parade and looking like an elephant. Even if everyone were to try to do it, they would still be the best. That's how good they were. I wouldn't want you to think that just because no one ever bothers trying to look like an elephant with other people together in a parade, that these people being the best didn't mean much, because certainly it did. They were very pleasant to look at, sort of dragging their way along the street. One had an arm to be the trunk, and it was painted gray like a trunk, and all the hair had been shaved from it. It moved back and forth the way an elephant trunk moves, always seeming like it was about to investigate some smell or shape. The people who made up this elephant were very determined. It must have hurt a great deal to go all the way through the town on the hard pavement. And that was that about the elephant. Already it was gone. Next came a group of little girls with pigeons on their shoulders. These were the kind that sent messages. Apparently there was a society of girls that does this all the time. Although I have never seen them in action, I believe it to be true. Carr saw the society pass there and immediately thought of a message she should like to send by pigeon. But of course, the society was not accepting messages at that time. Thank you. <laughs>